Nubia has a crazy device in town, which it calls the Alpha, a wearable smartwatch that is also a phone. The highlight of this device is its flexible OLED screen, which does indeed flex along with the device itself. Put it on using the proprietary band and lock mechanism, and you have a smartwatch with a thin and long screen that wraps around the front of your wrist. We'll rather not discuss the looks of the Alpha, it's better for everyone to decide how they feel about it. The screen is a really thin band, and the fact that it's considerably bent around your wrist doesn't make it very convenient to use. Because of that, Nubia has had to add a bunch of new gestures to control the interface. For example, you can shift the entire UI up and down to bring certain parts of it more to the front of the screen. That's a pretty neat idea, but it feels like a solution which fixes a problem that shouldn't have existed. Nubia has also developed an interesting way to interact with the Alpha, which is through air gestures. By waving left, right, up or down in front of the camera, you can get the on-screen navigation menus to follow your directions. It mostly works, but probably not to the extent that would make it useful during day-to-day -day operation. Nubia positions the Alpha as a phone that you can wear on your wrist. That isn't true for the base version of the device, which is going to cost you around 450 euro or dollars and it will only be available with Bluetooth connectivity. For 550, however, you get the added convenience of 4G through eSIM. That means you have to ask your carrier if they can activate it for you. The special 18 karat coated gold version is only available with 4G connectivity and costs 650 euro or dollars. The Nubia Alpha will hit the Chinese market first in the second quarter of the year, but this should be followed by later releases in Europe and eventually North America. However, as cool and fun as the Alpha looks, it couldn't convince us in the usability of the wraparound form factor. Perhaps some other company could one day make it work, but for now, the Nubia Alpha is more like an interesting proof of concept rather than a fully realized commercial product.